Hello and welcome to how to install mods for ETS and ATS with me Kevin Sawyer. Now I know a lot of people probably know how to do this already and there's quite a few videos out there on how to do it um, but Prol Tinky's having troubles of how to install mods so I figured I'd do this video for him um, he just doesn't get what you need to do so I'm trying to go through it step for step and uh, for him and for anyone else that may be interested in how to do it right for steam mods it's easy peasy so if i go to the steam workshop and then just pick any one at random say i've already got this installed um but you just click subscribe and then once you launch your game you'll see it come up new mod detected that's all you need to do for steam mods it's quite quite straightforward just click subscribe and you're good to go for anything else that you may have put, got your eye on or any mods I may have made for you Sinky or, or anyone else that has got one of my mods or whatever one of my skins um, what you need to do once you've downloaded it um, I always, any mods that I download, every single mod that I download, I always scan it with antivirus before I do anything else with it, um, just as a matter of course, um, and that's on every mod that I download, just I'd always recommend doing it, unless you really know the person then you're probably safe, but even then just in case uh, you never know a virus might have sneaked, sneaked into their computer, they weren't aware of it, um, either way, um, just just always scan it's, bit, it's better be safe and sorry right that out the way right there's two different mods you might come across I've got two mods here lined up now this one here is it's it's just a zipped file format and this one is an SCS file right that one's going to be pretty straightforward once you download it if it says SCS on it it's more or less good to go straight into your game folder so in order to find your game folder now this works on both American truck and a Euro truck simulator. So if you put in documents uh, and then bring up your documents, and as you can see, you can have American truck simulator there. And if you pan down, eventually you will find a Euro truck simulator. And both the situations apply. You just click on the relevant folder you need to put them in. For this demonstration, I'm just going to throw in the game mods into American truck simulator. So just open American Truck Simulator and then you see mods or mod right that's that bit ready just leave that to one side for now right and then grab the relevant mod as long as it's STS which we know, I know this one does drag that into the mods folder and that's it done for that stage of it now if you've got one like this that says um, 7 zip on it obviously you need to unpack it first so just use whatever whatever software you use to unpack it whether it's Windows or 7 zip like I tend to use um, and then just do that and once you get the folder opened you should then see again the actual folder itself it says SCS on it on the end as long as it says SCS there it's and that's the foot that's where the bit you need to look for if it doesn't if it says anything else other than that you know it's not going to work because this is the way that the SCS reads the files pick the folder out throw it into your mods done now you launch your game and I'll literally cut it here and then um, go into the game settings so I'll see you in a sec Okay, guys, welcome back, and uh, here you go. Right, so once you've launched, once you launched your game, whether it's ETS or um, um, American Truck Simulator, you should see it says "New Mod Found" here. So, click on Mod Manager, and then you should see the relevant mod that you want to do, um, want to install, appear. Uh, if it's a if they've sort of got a picture with it, they have a picture of it, it's like one of mine, which I've still got to figure out how to put a picture into it. You'll see it's blank. But anyway, so in order to activate it, you just select it and then just that's it, bonk it in. If you've got a sound mod, it's probably better to make sure it is lower priority than your sound mod. Um, 
unless the mod specifically says make it as a higher priority. I know one of these mods I've got here, like this one, says make sure it's a higher priority. So I just could make sure that is a higher priority than that. Um, just because otherwise you get conflicts. Um, and what the priority means, if you see that as a mod description, it says make sure it's got a higher priority. If you've got their truck, a mod truck, and you download a skin for that said truck, make sure it's higher than the actual truck itself. Otherwise, you'll find it just doesn't work. It won't read it. Um, but again, just plonk in another, the other next mod once you've activated. Um, and it's the same again to reverse mods. If you just click on that, it deactivates it. Or if you deactivate it on here by clicking on it, it will take it back off the um, list once. But once you're happy, installed anything, confirm, and then load game. Continue game. It might, if it's one of those complicated mods, it might reset your game. You'll get a notification coming up anyway. But basically, go into game, test it all works, and everything else. Once you've done all that and you make you happy that it works, if it what I tend to suggest is make do it if it's a mod you're not sure of put it onto a dummy account one that you know that isn't going to matter if you break the break the um, file or not uh, I tend to risk mine these days a lot because I've got so much money now I, I don't really care if I have to start over again but anyway I hope you guys and girls enjoyed the mod showcase if you did or the how to install mods for American Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator if you did, please um, feel free to like, and uh, if you didn't enjoy it for any reason, please feel free to dislike, but please leave a comment down below to why you didn't like it, so at least then I can try to improve in the future. And if you're new to my channel and you see future how-to or anything else, you, um, please don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit the notifications bell, so then you're immediately notified as soon as I update anything. And if you know anyone else that may also enjoy watching this, guys and girls, please feel free to share. It helps me a lot, and I don't mind you sharing. I'll see you guys in the next one. TTFN.